but it is what it was what it did you go jackie from hey jacket beauty and i'm back after nine plus months oh wait no it's more than nine because i'm almost nine months postpartum and my baby is gonna be nine months on a few days but anyway we'll get into all of that in a little bit i'm going to do my hair because i just want to and i need to and i can chat with you guys while doing it so yeah if you want to see that then keep on watching also as per usual you guys because i'm back you should subscribe and join the beauty club make sure to hit that bell button and get notifications youtube gives you so many hoops to jump through just be part of the club part of the fam join us you know we'll figure it out as we go on with all of youtube's new regulations and things that they change constantly but yes and if you do want to see me on a more regular and consistent basis Feel free to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We now have all of our social media platforms under the same name. Hey, Jack A. Beauty. There you go. And so, yeah, follow me there, and I will see you guys there. All right, let's get on to the video. All right. So, pardon a few things. We have a new background that I don't know will be standard. We're just doing it for today. Um... Use natural lighting as per usual. I'm in a new neighborhood, so if you hear doors closing and slamming and all that, and um, all that, don't mind it. Um, and also, feel I'm, I'm, a little, I'm recovering, I should say. I'm recovering from a like allergy, cold, sinus thing. So if you see me reach for my beloved nine month old hospital cup, it's just I'm getting some water but I feel good otherwise so yeah just pardon the sore throat between the sinus thing and breastfeeding I get parched very easily um so anyway let's go on to the products that I'll be using I am going to be using the Mongongo oil pre shampoo treatment we also have the exfoliating shampoo so I'm gonna put in the pre shampoo treatment detangle my hair go in the shower, wash with this. And then I am going to use the Camille Rose Lavender Simulating Growth Quench Deep Conditioner. And we have our typical mist spray bottle. And we have these little clippies. And a new hair tie situation. Love these bad boys. Same old comb. A new denim brush that actually does not have any other row taken out. This is great because this will be good for styling. For styling, I'm going to be using Texture ID's Styling Cream. And I'm going to be using... Dun, 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 What's Line Extreme Gel. So let's get started. All right, I'm going to spray my hair, section it into four. And so, how are... You guys doing? How's life going? I hope it's going well for you. Man, it's been nine months. Happy New Year. I hope 2019 has been going well. Basically three-fourths of the year is pretty much done. So, you know, I'm going to make the rest count. But anyway, um, I did want to start this off in talking about and me coming back. I do have a ton of unreleased footage. Of course, all of my pregnancy updates I haven't released, as well as a few reviews. And I still have to, you know, like record the typical, you know, my postpartum and my the birth story of my little girl and all that. So what I will do, ooh, this hair stable, is to release two videos a week. And it'll probably be something like Tuesdays and Thursdays and have the Thursdays be the old videos because Throwback Thursday or Flashback Friday, like something like that. And I'll try and make it so it's not too confusing, but I do just want to put out content and also get uh, everything done kind of quickly. So instead of doing my typical one video a week, we're going to do two and we'll see how that goes. Be on the lookout for that. Um, 
that'll be coming up and probably happening for the next two, three months or so. And now to talk about motherhood and postpartum um, and along those lines. So I will go more in depth on that in a different video. Um, like I said before, I would do my birth story, um, my baby girl's birth story. And to talk about postpartum a little bit for me, I will say right now, doing great. Giving birth to the human is no joke. It's, <laughs> it's a lot, but you know, everything was great. God was with us the whole time and was with me as I healed with her as she grew bigger, as she grew bigger. <laughs> as she grew bigger and so now you know i got a nine month old who's just so silly and funny and full of personality and trying to do everything motherhood has definitely been a transition for me and it's not even so much um taking care of a child i think that part i kind of had a lot of preparation for and like had seen my friends do that prepared for I would say it's just everything else the emotional the mental like just being a mom there's so many other factors that I don't necessarily know if you can be proud for it so either way it was a doozy and it took me a second to kind of get my bearings and even now you know I, I have my moments but I feel way more equipped um, I have the support and my honey bunny <laughs> my husband and my family and my friends and so um, that goes right into the new topic or the next topic I should say is that we moved we are no longer in the Portland area and so <clears throat> we moved down south and so we are now in Eugene Oregon home of the University of Oregon go Ducks um, and so we are down here and we are living with my family. It just was a decision that we decided to make, I think in the end of my pregnancy and the way that things have gone, I'm like so grateful for it. Long story short, I love it. My husband loves it. It's funny, he was the one that suggested it. <laughs> um, so it's, it was, it was a great move for us. My daughter adores it. And I adore seeing her just be with my parents and my brother and yeah. It's it's things and moments that I realize that like I won't get this time back. Like, so I, I need to appreciate and enjoy it. Even, you know, even if I really want to have my own space to decorate or, you know, have, you know, more room to do filming or things like that. Like little things where, it's like, oh, I wish I, you know, had a home office or stuff like that. You know, those things that you kind of like dream up and wish for on your own. Um, and even though it seems like right now it's like, you know, God's saying no to it. I know that he's saying no to it right now for a reason. And if this is where I'm at right now. I think it's a really sweet deal. <laughs> anyway. To kind of go backwards a little bit, but to go more in depth about postpartum, my hair, well one, as you probably can see, my hair's gotten a lot longer. I don't, I don't know, like while I was pregnant, I did do Marley twists. I don't think those twists helped exponentially. And in fact, it was like one of my least favorite protective styles that I've done. After that, and especially when I came down to Eugene, I just feel like all of a sudden my hair was just really long. enough about me and my hair and stuff um we can talk about other stuff and so i am gonna talk about things that like have happened like a while ago but that i just haven't had my input in um no it's not gonna do a little bit anything of, like youtube and drama and look i don't know whose beauty community is up in flames or mine isn't and i'll just say that the people I watch in my quote-unquote beauty community, they are doing just fine and flourishing and staying hydrated, keeping their skin moisturized and minding their business. 
and he needs to have knees in check. So that's all I gotta say about that. Um, anyway, haha, <laughs> this is not any less dramatic, but the end of Game of Thrones. I, okay, I liked it. <laughs> I am not like the other, I'm not like half of the, the people that watched it um, and hated it and signed petitions. You know, Game of Thrones is gonna come to an end eventually. And so it's just like to be like, no, they should do more and stretch it out. Like I, I think like doing this all in one season is fine. I think there should have been more episodes, absolutely. Um, and at the same time, I'm just like, you know, and I'm not going to be upset with what I got because it was a blessing to get what I got in the show. And so there's that perspective. And also, too, I think, because um, I talked to my little brother about this a lot, up to season five, we had the books that were able to provide a lot of context for a lot of things that were happening. And so, like, in the show, when it felt like, oh, what's going on? What's happening? Or what's so-and-so thinking or feeling? Like, you know, they were very, very slow-paced. Um in those seasons and at the same time the book provided a lot of context with that and um, additional information and so I think from that point on it was just difficult because the books weren't written yet so we didn't have a lot of like context and people's thought processes and what was happening and also just there's just certain things from the books that were just not used or just straight up different but you know kind of you know it just it changed the trajectory a little bit. I think it was after the third episode, which, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it, which, I don't know, yeah. After the third episode when the Night King died, I was kind of like getting annoyed with some things, like with Danny's behavior, and how it just, it just, I was like, oh, it just seems like they're making her the Mad Queen, and even like sometimes like how Sansa was acting, and all that. I was like, I was just getting annoyed by some of the characters. But my thing, like, after I sat down and thought about it, if they have more episodes, I would expect the same thing to happen. I wouldn't expect things to be any different. So my thing was like, oh, okay, I kind of see, like, yeah, things were always kind of leaning in this way. It's just the fact that it's happening so fast that it feels like it's just not supposed to happen. And really, like, no, it was kind of pointing in this direction. But there's that. And also, it's funny. when So when I watched the last scene of season seven where John and Danny are sleeping together, I just said it. I was like, oh, John got to kill Danny. Oh, like someone's gonna die like I knew like I was I don't know I was prepared and I knew I was like Danny's not gonna make it through or John like one of them's going to just not survive but brand new on the Iron Throne I'm kind of like oh whatever fine doesn't mean anything like <laughs> I don't know I I don't know I kind of wish it was John on the throne and at the same time he didn't want the throne that was what like I think I was talking to my brother and like, or somebody and like, John should be on the throne. And I was like, how many times does this man have to tell you he does not want to be king? And I thought it was cool that Arya wanted to go and explore it. Cause I was like, she's not, people were mad that she didn't go uh, marry Genji. But I'm like, you guys, it's been foreshadowed since the beginning. She's not a lady. How, that's how she says it. She's not a lady. She ain't gonna be with that man living up in the castle. You know how frustrating that would be for her? I do wish that she was the one that killed Cersei because what I thought was going to happen and I think what a few people have said, I thought she was going to kill Jaime, take his face, and then go and kill Cersei as Jaime. I thought that would have been so tight, but for whatever reason, they decided not to do it and I was like, whatever. The show overall, I think overall, I would say it's a great show. Anyway, I have this pre-shampoo treatment in my hair um but i'm gonna put these on and then i'm going to hop in the shower put on the shampoo rinse everything out and i'll be back to put on this all right we are back gonna drink some water stay hydrated my friends okay but uh, what am i doing taking off take off the section i don't normally do this Hence my uh, confusion. I normally just take off the cap and do it in the shower, but I'm still talking to y'all. Anyway, I'm gonna put this out now. Nerd alert, because I'm a nerd. Um, but <laughs> A3, y'all. Um, they finally, finally put a date out for Final Fantasy VII, the remake, and your girl. It's hype. I am mad hype. I am the biggest Final Fantasy fan. 
Now, now let's let's get something straight here. Cause I know there's some haters out there who say, "If you ever played the game, I'll give you a fan." Bro, I was like, I was like five seven. I was young. I was young when it came out, and my brothers and my cousins played it. I tried to play it. I named Tifa the wrong name. They laughed. They were rude. They laughed at me. I was like five seven. I tried to give her name name Angel. I spelled it Angle, and they laughed at me. So I didn't play the game. But still, you know, I was into it. So I was watching the play, knew the story, and then as I got older, I looked it up, liked all the little fan sites that people were making. But either way. Yeah, I'm hype that not only do we have a date, we finally get to see the battle. I would say more so like the battle sequences and how they designed that, which is very, very similar to Kingdom Hearts. And finally, my girl Tifa, she was there. And I was so hype and just, she just looks so good. She looks great. And all these incels mad about her. <laughs> My girl looks good, hasn't looked better. I'm excited about the game. And the thing that kind of stinks, because we have a uh, a switch, that's the only thing we're, we're gonna have to save up and get a PlayStation 4, because I'm getting the game when it comes out. I'm, I'm trying to resolve myself to, to, you know, accepting that more than likely, like, I will have to like play the game with English dub. I don't want to. To be honest, like I want uh, English sub. Even Advent Children, I won't watch it in English. It sounds horrible. I hate it. <laughs> so um, for the game too, like I, I hope, I hope against hope that it can be uh, English subtitles. I don't mind reading subtitles at all. Even like anime and stuff, I will only watch it in Japanese. Okay, so I finished this and I think this will be the end at least of the chat portion. I'll probably be listening for 20-30 minutes with um, the hot head cap thing. I'm gonna rinse it out with cold water. Yes, I've been doing that. Yes, I hate it, but it works. It's good. And then I'm going to go in with this oil on my scalp and put to this styling cream. Um, which is the Texture ID Styling Cream. And then afterwards, more than likely I'll just stop with the Styling Cream um, and let my hair dry a little bit um, and then put it in a puff or something. And then tomorrow I'll come back in, spritz my hair with some water, do the wet line with a Denman brush. Yes, things have changed around here. Um, but yeah do all that and then I will show you guys the finished results when it's done because usually then the gel takes some time to dry my hair shrinks up like crazy I stretch it out a little bit using the banding method and we're done if it's still wet for a long time too I will use my blow dryer on the focus nozzle but anyway like I said you guys will see a full video with like all the details in it later but that is it for now, so I will see you guys again when my hair is all done. Okay, bye. Hey you guys, voiceover Jackie here. If you've made it this far, kudos to you. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Right here, I have second day hair, which I actually like better than first day hair, because as you can see, it's more volume. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Much love, bye.